everybody, thanks for joining me for another video. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Surface. One of my viewers made an excellent point the other day. The Therion is their username and I had mentioned something in my Truth About Ball Reviews video about the differences in Surface and how many different ways you can get to the same place and he thought it would be a really good idea to break down why a 2000 pad doesn't necessarily equal another 2000 pad or why saying 2000 grit can mean several different things depending on the age of the pad, whether or not you're using water, a spinner, how long you, uh, how long you have the pad on the ball for. So we're going to do that today with my trend. This is a ball that I like quite a bit. It does have the same core as the ProMotion does, and uh, most of you that watch me should know that that's one of my favorite balls ever. Uh, the trend act, the trend rolls great too. The problem is the shiny cover. Now sometimes when a ball comes out of the factory with the factory gloss on it, it can be a little too over under, it can be a little too shiny, and especially on the left side of the lane, the polish is not necessarily a good thing for us. We need the ball to react earlier and control the back end a little bit more. So, I'm going to take my trend to 2000, but I have two different ages of pads. They're both 2000, so if you want to I want to check them out here if I can get them in the light. These are both 2000 pads. However, this one here is brand new. I haven't used it before. This one has had some use on it. I have my spinner over here, and so we're going to take the old pad or the used pad. It's still got some, it's still got some, some grit there to it, so it's not used up. It just has been used before. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the trend on the spinner with the older pad and use water and see what we get. All right, so here's the ball on the spinner. We've got the same pad that I just showed you a second ago, 2000 grit. I have my bottle of water. I have my handy dandy spinner here. And so we're going to go on ahead and uh, sand up or sand down the ball, however you want to say it. Most of the time they recommend to do six sides. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to do the side, the top, the bottom, the other side, and then the grip side and then the uh, serial number side. Most of the time I only do four sides. It really doesn't matter. It just depends on your personal preference, like, you know, or what you like doing with your own surface. Personally, I just do the four sides. So I will do this side because if you look, you can get the vast majority of the ball. You can get probably, I don't know, two thirds of the ball or at least a good solid half of it on each side. So it just depends on how many different orientations you want to put in here to uh, blend the surface out. So I'm going to do it on four sides. I'm going to use water with the older pad and we're going to see what we get. This is factory shined. I haven't adjusted the surface on it before. So we're just going to put some water on there. And generally speaking, you want to be consistent with how long you do this for. Uh, you don't have to set a timer and do each side for like 15 or 20 seconds. So normally I just kind of keep an eye on what it looks like. So I'll do it for about 15, 20 seconds here. Like I said, once again, it doesn't really need to be... When you're, when you're squirting water on a pad and, you know, doing it this way, there's not really a super scientific method of, of going about it. So I'll add a little bit more water, throw the spinner back on. Once again, we're going to hit it for, and I'm, a, I'm, I'm not like really hammering my hand down on it. I'm just applying light pressure. Spinners are very helpful. This is an innovative, I believe it was only a couple hundred dollars. So if this is something you feel like investing in to put in your home, it comes already assembled. So very nice, very convenient. I like having it. So I'm going to switch to the top side of the ball now. A little bit more water. Like I said, I'm just, just applying light pressure here. Nothing crazy. 15 to 20 seconds each side. Making sure that you're getting the sides of the ball as well as the top. Flip it to the bottom side. One last squirt of water. All right. That 
should do it. Now, whenever you get done sanding a ball up, no matter what you do, you're always going to have a little bit of residue in the fingers. So, you know, just taking a taking a regular towel or something, or you know, just cleaning out the fingers here just a little bit to get some of the residue out. All right. So, what we end up here with here is a uh, more of a sheen. You can see that it's definitely a lot duller than it was to start off with, but when you think about 2000 grit or about a ball that's coming out of the box at 2000 grit, it does look substantially duller than this. So, step two is this is, this is 2000 grit, so I can do this to a ball and call this 2000 grit because I used a 2000 pad. I also used a spinner and water. So the next thing that we're going to do, without shutting the camera off or moving it at all, I'm going to take the brand new pad, the brand new 2000 pad, which feels scratchier of course than the old one. Water is also a lubricant, and so it's going to make it come out shinier. The surface is going to end up being shinier than it does that if you just take a dry pad and scuff it by hand. So what we're going to do, so I'm going to give you a good look at this ball here. So, so you can see kind of what the surface looks like. It is fairly even too. That's one of the best things that I like about the, uh, you can see a little bit of the grain, but that's one of the things I like about doing it on a spinner and kind of counting things down a little bit. You get a very consistent surface. So overall, this looks pretty, conser uh, pretty consistent from side to side. So this looks like this would be an acceptable job for me. I'd go on ahead and take this out on the lanes. Now what we're going to do, this is my least preferred, or this is my less preferred method because I'm skinny and weak, so um, this does take a little bit of a, a little bit of arm strength here, but we're going to take the new pad, and I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to spin it with my hand. I'm going to keep it kind of on the same, kind of on the same side and do the same thing that I did with on the spinner. I'm just going to do it by hand with the fresh pad uh, with no water on it. So we're going to try to do it for about 15 to 20 seconds again. And already you can see how much duller we're getting. And some of this is a little bit of dust, and so we'll clean off the residual uh, once we get done here. But as you can see, we are significantly duller just doing it this way versus doing it on the spinner with an older pad with water, even though it's a 2000 grit pad and saying, well, I took it to 2000. So let's go on ahead and switch to the other side. Try not to talk here while I'm doing this so I don't huff and puff and I'm not that old yet. All right, has that been 15 or 20 seconds? Great, fantastic. Switch to the top. My arms are tired. I don't know how the ball reps do this all the time. I mean, they've got to have guns. They've got to have, like, Chad McLean guns to do this on the, on the tour for these guys all the time. All right. 15 to 20 seconds. Great. Flip over to the bottom. I'm tired. This is quite a bit of work. I've got to bowl league later. All right. Close enough. Enough to make my point anyway. So we're gonna take the towel, we're gonna to wipe the dust off, because there, there is a little bit of dust. But through the other surface, doing it with the older pad and water on the spinner, you could still see kind of a sheen through the surface that was on the top. So what we've got now is something that looks more like a 2000 grit surface that would come out of something like a proton physics out of the box. You can see that there's no, ah, catching my breath here. You can see that there's no kind of sheen underneath. It looks like a true surface. And what I mean by that is that it's not just, you didn't put some scratches on top of something that's still uh, otherwise shiny. This looks like a true solid 2000 grit surface. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put the other image on the screen from after I got done doing it on the spinner with water. I'm just going to pop that up here and show you what the difference and what the difference is and flip back and forth a few times. 
Now the ultimate point, and some, uh, a point that I tried to make on that video, and a counterpoint that he made, was that if I say, okay, well I took my trend to 2000, I'm showing it on a ball video, and then somebody else goes and takes their trend to 2000, but maybe they used a new pad, maybe they used a true cut pad, maybe they used an old pad, maybe they did it by hand, or they did it on the spinner, they did it with water, without water, and if they come back at me and say, well, you know, I took it to, I took my trend to 2002 and it looks nothing like this. So that just goes to prove you can't trust staffers. And uh, the Therian came back and said, well, yeah, but if there's no videos showing the difference between this, how are they supposed to know the difference? Fair point. And we got a pretty cool video now. So, so this is why the number that's on the pad is far less important than the methods you use to get at this surface versus the first surface. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and thank you very much user the Therion for your suggestion. Thanks for watching and may the strikes be with you.